Today I'm excited to share with you guys a game that is really special to me and one that I think despite it being different than a lot of the things I share on the channel is something that a lot of you guys are going to enjoy quite a bit. The game is called Carrier Command 2. The reason that it's special is because it reminds me a lot of the games of my childhood and a lot of you guys might be familiar with the original Carrier Command from some decades ago. Carrier Command 2 is developed by GeoMeta and it's being published by Microprose Software. Microprose, of course, a recently relaunched and legendary game publisher in its own right. And Microprose is focusing extensively on the simulation and the strategy market. That's why Carrier Command 2 is the perfect title for Microprose. So what exactly is Carrier Command 2? Well, it's difficult to say. The description says that it's a real-time strategy game that puts you in command of a futuristic carrier capable of deploying a vast array of aircraft and amphibious units. Compete against AI or human players and hop into every single vehicle to take matters into your own hands. So it is a real-time strategy game, but it's played from a first person perspective. The game starts with you aboard an orbiting space station over a planet. Welcome back, Commander Altus Gage. Your disorientation shall pass. You're directed to move to an escape pod and re-enter the atmosphere. Once you're on the surface of the planet, you move to and board a carrier. This is your battleship, your carrier, your vessel to command. And that's when the simulation really hits its stride. You launch the carrier into the ocean, and then after you're in command, you can work through each station in the bridge. You can jump behind the wheel of the carrier and take the helm. You can steer it to its destination, carefully navigating the waters while monitoring which direction the wind is blowing, how the tide is running, how deep the water is beneath the carrier so you don't run aground, and monitoring how much power you are consuming while you navigate the carrier so that you have the ability not only to drive the carrier but also run its radar systems and command its air defense systems and power the catapult that controls the launch and recovery of aircraft. and. Beyond simply controlling the carrier, you can also take control of its air and its ground wings. So you can function as the air warfare officer or the ground warfare officer. In this seat, you're responsible for launching and recovering aircraft as well as amphibious assault vehicles. And you'll control the altitude they fly at, the formations they fly in, the orbits that they take up around target areas. You'll control the weaponeering solutions that they come up with and whether they're shooting their cannon or using missiles to strike targets. Targets. You'll determine whether or not to deploy reconnaissance aircraft or rotary wing aircraft or tilt rotary wing aircraft or what size and what type of amphibious vehicles you launch to go capture enemy bases. And maybe one of the most compelling things about this game is not only are you ordering these units to go and fight and execute this complex plan that you've orchestrated where you're firing pre-assault fires from the carrier itself and then launching aircraft that'll provide suppression of enemy air defenses and then ultimately launching your amphibious assault craft to go assault the base but not only are you ordering all these things to happen and orchestrating this massive chaotic attack you're also able to jump in the cockpit of each of these vehicles and control it manually or jump in the gunner's seat so that you can control the turret and when and how the vehicle fires if you choose to fight from the logistician's chair, you'll be responsible for making sure your carrier is well supplied using a complex system of resupply lines. You have to place orders for vehicle chassis and weapon systems, but supplies aren't unlimited and they're not all on your carrier. They're actually scattered across all the islands you've captured and each island that you've captured will give you different types of resources. So one island might give you fuel while another island might give you weapon systems or ammunition or an extra supply ship called a barge that'll be able to deliver supplies to you. And as you build these supply networks and as your logistician places orders for various types of supplies, those supplies will be moved from those islands where they are manufactured onto a barge that'll then transport them out to your own vessel. So you have to keep in mind how far you can travel before you need to resupply on fuel or ammunition or what have you. And all of this creates a really immersive but a very detailed planning opportunity where you can decide how to design your fleet and how to sustain yourself over these long hauls in this very immersive battle. One of the best things about the game is that you can play it in co-op mode. That's something that I haven't done yet but I look forward to doing with my buddies on the channel. And what's perhaps even cooler, cross-platform game. So you can play on PC, 
while your buddies are in VR. Or you can play in VR while your buddies are on PC. And just the idea of playing this game in VR is really exciting to me. Because it's not just the bridge that you operate in. In fact, you can walk all over your carrier. You can even go down to the vehicle launch bays and you can watch as the crane extracts air vehicles and places them on the flight deck for them to launch and go conduct their missions. Or you can watch the amphibious craft launch into the ocean out of the belly of the carrier or be recovered back into the carrier itself. This is a super interesting game and you can imagine why it's intriguing to me because I love the idea of having to control all of these wide array of systems and use them to come up with a tactical advantage over a cunning enemy. And I think this game is at its best when you're able to make sure that you are well supplied at the right place at the right time with the right weapon systems and the right plan to echelon the right kind of fires and deliver the right kind of combat power to an island to ultimately take it and then move on to the next one. Super satisfying whenever the ballet of chaos comes together and I know that you guys will enjoy it. If you're looking to get a copy of Carrier Command 2, you can do so from my Nexus game store at nexus.gg slash controlled pairs gaming. If you do choose to purchase the game from there, it'll benefit the channel directly. I'm really grateful for each of you who choose to buy the game in that way and you can expect to see more carrier command 2 on the channel in the future i'm controlled pairs i play the most immersive tactical shooters and combat simulations in the world this is carrier command 2 i'll see you in the next one